operations. And usually that's because of the majority of the women, at least, were there for drug issues. And usually when they're on parole, they have to pass urine tests mm. and either they don't make their parole uh, meetings because they know they're unclean and that usually is what they call being violated by their parole officer, like, like the parole officer did something bad. But, uh, so they end up back in, been back in prison until they are totally uh, free of all their charges. They're under the strictures of parole rules. So, in so oftentimes women would come back. So I had this one gal who was back a couple times uh, without saying her name, I guess I should or shouldn't. Karkia was her first name. Okay. I don't know that, first name. Well, right. Very different name. Well, this gal, she thought she was the cat's meow in every way. And she was a formidable woman at that point, I'd say in her 20s. But she could have convinced, I'm sure, anybody that she was a PhD. She was running the country and uh, you owed her a living. Well, <laughs> she's in the GED class. She didn't have that. Cut. Um, that's my, that's the telephone. I'm not going to either answer it or let it go, but it's going to ring four times. Okay. We'll just, so you're going to have okay to, waiting. So it's Might be Carol, just knowing because she has to go to. Nothing. Yeah, it's an intruder calling. <laughs> okay, good okay. to know. Um, <laughs> where were we? So it's been running. Yes, you couldn't stop. It's, that's oh, fine. Okay. I will. So anyway, with that. this um, young lady, always being a nuisance because she was always distracting the other gals because she was there just to get out of prison work even though she was wanted to get her GED. So that was an advantage to to doing these classes. Yeah, I mean for some. Okay. I mean the majority were there sincerely, but this gal once she knew her, she just was looking for because we would usually have some little treats mm. and um, and it was very comfortable. We were in air conditioning or good heating <laughs> compared to the the, rest the of cellmate the of the cell blocks, and uh, so anyway, this one time, she was just such a nuisance that I just called for um, one of the security people to remove her, Did which I had total right, and she had no recourse. I mean, it wasn't like in school; <laughs> you had to go through all kind of um, red tape to remove someone. So, did, that, did she ever come back? Um, I think I. I did take her back for just testing later on. I provided her with materials and her cell, but she was a return offender many times. So, so you were teaching about GEDs, mm -hmm. or how to get your GED, but was it something more than that? Yeah, the biggest thing to me, besides the five subjects that the GED Which will test, um, was just to make women aware of what it, life really is like beyond the world which from which most of them came, which was usually a, a setting that put them back in the drug scene as opposed to getting help and support from family. Mm -hmm. And uh, opportunities weren't there because of not having an education. And I bet just about every woman that I had um, would swear that was the biggest mistake they made that they didn't finish high school for different reasons. Some were pregnancy, which is very common. Uh, and then, of course, drugs. Yeah. They got hooked into drugs early also. Of all the women that I had, and I recently was trying to guess, but I'm sure there was a couple hundred that I would have had Very contact with uh, directly in class over six and a half years all but the few were not mothers. Wow. And the hardest thing and saddest thing for me was to think you would never allow yourself to be taken from your children 
because of silly things and the addiction part of it, even though that's an addiction, they had to make that first choice, but they just don't know the seriousness that it can lead to. So how did you teach them and try to instill those values or at least show them that different world? I, th I guess through a lot of different um, extra discussions, topics, movies, I always tried to present to them very positive movies, not just entertainment movies. And um, Such as? Well, I'm, I'm going down my list here. Um, Fiddler on the Roof was probably one that oftentimes was used, but the best, and this is the one that I included in every uh, group's course, was a Diary of Anne Frank. Ah. And I'm going to cry because okay. it makes that just rise up in me. And um, they were just, you know, some of them knew about Anne Frank. One or two might have even have read the diary, and, um, but the majority didn't know anything. And once we had this excellent movie, it, was the, it wasn't the diary of Anne Frank version, it was a Disney, um, The Life of Anne Frank, which precedes the Holocaust uh -huh. and follows to after the war, and only Otto Frank is the survivor. And um, what that brought up was just incredible reactions, conversations, discussions, and I was always revealing to them the difference before what led to the war, the difference after, and how Hitler was a person that had a controlling way, but any of those girls could have probably punched his lights out without even, you know, a, a big deal. Uh, so to always be aware of how you can be manipulated and manipulation, I can't tell you how many times I was told that's what the inmates will do. They're great manipulators. Mm. So here they were being exposed to, to me, one of the most amazing modern historical episodes, World War II, which none of them had any real knowledge of. Mm -hmm. But... Um, how Anne Frank, this simple girl of just one story, and that, that's the whole uh, lesson, that she was just one story of the millions who died uh, through the Holocaust experience. And she was, but she was such an eloquent young girl who valued education and communication and her right to be all that she could be, and it was cut short, you know. Just when their lives probably started to go downhill her life ended totally mm -hmm. as a teenager, a young teenage girl. So I'd say, without a doubt, the exposure to the diary of Anne Frank, the, the story, the movie, and uh, discussions, to me, was a very important part of their... I would love to go back, talk with them all. I'm sure that was one thing they would do you, share and remember. Do you keep in, have you kept in contact with any of them? Um, no, only because... I wouldn't pursue it, but I would be glad to encounter them anytime. Um, Do you know of any that are currently out of prison and kind of changed their life around? Well, I know that many of them are out, those that got their GEDs especially, who had uh, somehow I've gotten reports that, you know, they were moving on and had some career, uh, you know, changes, you know, that they were getting jobs and training and things like that.